Okay, so as you can see here, uh, I've drilled out the first hole. It's the approximate uh, advancement, that much. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead now and drill out all of these three other holes and get the brush uh, ring back in place. Simple as that. Okay, so that's our brush advance pretty much done. Um, as you can see here, uh, we've got the old holes here and uh, the new ones with all four bolts back in. I just took a simple strategy of just putting a little uh, tip X mark there beside each of the threaded holes. I just transferred that mark back down onto the plate and drilled it out. I drilled them out to 6.5mm uh, just to give a little bit of play and uh, everything there seems pretty good. So um, I'm going to start putting all this back together again and um, get the plate back on, get the brushes back in and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, give her a test. So, so you know that's it. It's not, uh, it's not that tricky to do. This, this, uh, material is um, easy to drill um, and that's about it I think the hardest part of this is just trying to choose how far to go with this with this uh, plate so pretty much guesstimated it uh, I'm sure there's more more accurate uh, procedures but that's what we've done for now so uh, we'll see how it actually plays out okay so it's got the plate back on, you can see I've lined up the tip X mark, so everything's back where it should be. I'm just going to go ahead now and uh, spin down the, oh, I've got the wrong socket on there, so to change sockets. And I'm going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and spin down those six bolts. Um, just uh, what you should be doing with these, I should be spinning them down on um, Opposites, just so you pull the bearing down squarely. Oh, and I have the bearing pulled at a bit of an angle, so I'm just going to do opposites here. You hear it pulling down, you hear the plate, a kind of bump bump sound, that's the plate pulling back down. Oh. The sound is doing these two opposites here. I'm going to start doing two more opposites now at 90 degrees to that, or, or whatever it is, 60 degrees I suppose. And uh, pretty straightforward with this motor. It'd be a little different now if it was the other type where you'd have to drop the uh, armature back in. So, let's give these guys a nip here now. it and spin down these other two now and uh, we can put the brushes back in and hook up the cables inside and uh, we can give her a spin up and hopefully all, all will be happy okay point uh, I discovered here is that because the brush plate has now changed its, uh, its uh, position the um, armature cable here is a little bit tricky to get it back on to the terminal so it's just uh, something to observe and you'll have to kind of bend the cable a little bit just to get your, just to get it back on to that terminal happy so I'm going to go ahead now and hook up these two put in the brushes and we'll uh, spin the thing up okay so this is the last brush to go back in and uh, the procedure just want to attach your uh, cable back on here just a uh, simple enough job 10 mil and what I've done is I've, I've got this uh, scriber I've just hooked it underneath the brush spring here just pull the brush spring up pop the brush in and let it back down onto it unfortunately I need three hands to film this so uh, I'll just go ahead and do that now
So, washers back in, battery hooked up, and we'll give her some gas. Give it the light there. There we go. Alright, here goes nothing. Whoa, oh, nothing is right. Try again. He's rolling. Whoa. Sounds pretty good. And with a fairly healthy RPM, 20 and 12 volts, obviously. Doesn't look like he's had a problem. And that is the brush advancing done. So, that's the procedure. Now the only way to truly test it, of course, would be in a vehicle or on some kind of a dyno. So uh, that's about all we can do for now, folks. So uh, at least the procedure is simple enough. It seems to work, just on 12 volts anyway. So uh, that's about it, I think. Uh, I think there's anything else that we can do here. So if you want to make some comments or you know tell me I've screwed up somewhere, then please do so, and I'll try to put it right. Okay, that's it.